Well, we're talking to Tori now who's been dealing with this for two years. I'm wondering in the immediate aftermath, again, a lot of people don't know what's going on. We're not going to really get into that at all, really. But like there's a there's a time where, where people are seeing headlines, they're hearing narratives, who knows what's true. Um, but you're an artist. Mm. And I remember listening to, again, I'm telling you, man, I love that album, man. I remember listening to the album and you're calling out a few people for moving a little bit different on you now. Mm -hmm. And you can sit here now and be like, well, what, what, what's them loving me? Maybe they didn't love me, but it felt like you were disappointed how but see, your peers now were moving. Look, now, this is a great point. I don't think that I was so much more mad at just everybody moving a certain way. It was certain niggas. It was certain niggas because of what we shared, who we are, and what we have as two people. You understand what I'm saying? It's you see how you said, oh, there's times I report things that are not in your favor, Tori, but da 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 da. But I understand. Act. That's your job. That's what you do. You have to report. You got to report whatever they say or whatever this is. This because at the end of the day, people only go to your channel. Some people only go to your channel to get the news from you. So I understand that. Some people were just that was just like I've done so much for. And shown so much actual love to and had so much real love for you beyond the music, beyond quarantine radio. If you met me there or wherever it was that it was just like, that's wild, my nigga. <laughs> it's like there's also a button called that's wild, my nigga. Were you hurt? A, I would be. A, a, a couple of people definitely hurt me for sure. I'm a human being. That shit cut me deep to the bone. Even in the times when I was able to even get on that attitude, when it was like, you know what, I'm, it was one of those points where it was just like, you know, everyone's pumbling me, everyone's coming at me. I was just like, you know what? Fuck you, niggas. And that's what happens to any human being. Of course. And that's when you got the snap and you got the, ah, nigga, I'm, I'm a rapper, I'm a spit, whatever, I'm a spit, because this is the only way I can actually say it right now. You know? I, I agree with you. I mean, you see, now so I will I'm, never lie I'm, about I'm, that. I'm still a human being. I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, I was all peaches and Danny through the whole thing. Nah, I'm a human being with feelings and emotions, bro. That shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? And it hurt for it hurt for it hurt for the three years that I'm still going through this. What hurt the most? Did it hurt the most that maybe their opinion or how they moved didn't align with what you were doing? Or did did it hurt that? Even though you knew them, maybe you did something for them, you had a relationship, they didn't care to at least. No, nah, that didn't hurt. That, that didn't hurt. It wasn't the, it wasn't that, bro. It was just like, all y'all niggas know what you're doing is creating my situation to look worse and be worse for me and my family and my child. Y'all all know me You know my family You know my child You've seen my kid before You've Whatever it is It's like Why would you do things That Are gonna put us in a situation And just add fuel to the fire Cause there's two courts There's a court of law But there's a court of public opinion In the court of public opinion Why would you do things that would Further slow me down from getting money And doing things without even knowing The a truth to anything without even a, a lick of evidence without anything. Why would that be? Why would that be a thing? Like, what did I actually do to you previously before this, but show you love for you to turn around and do that and think that that shit's okay and not wild. That's wild. My nigga. That's it. That's what hurt me. You I'm, know, I remember on, um, whatever fallouts, which, as I said, I think that's a phenomenal song. Thank you. That that's an artist, that's a person, that's a human whose backs against the ropes, and you could tell they're jumping him. And shit, he a little tired because he's been scrapping for a little bit, but he got that last breath, and he and he about to go crazy on everybody. And he's hoping he knocks everybody out because <laughs> if you don't knock everybody out, they go fuck him up. And you went crazy on that, but but even talking about like you know your child and everything, like I, I remember you even said um, how like you know you, you were I guess you were trying to get like a, a, a situation or like housing for them and like. Yeah. Everybody was just seeing this thing on the media and everyone's judging you over it. 
Like yeah, it was crazy. You know, obviously you have, you have a huge team and a lot of people who also rely on you. You gotta understand how big how big it got to the point that you know um, I'm, I'm this is like two years ago, but I was in a situation where I'm trying to uh, move my baby mother from one house to another, and um, before the situation, I had already closed like pretty much closed something, and. Um, you got a landlord that's like watching this shit happen on the news and watching the days as it unfolds. And really, you know, and then he goes and tells us like, yo, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this. Like, like what if, what if he goes to jail? <laughs> that was like it. Like, what if he goes to jail? Uh, how's wow. he going to pay this? If he goes to jail, it's like, bro, I have all the money to just pay it all off. Like, no, no, no. I, I just, what if you were to, how do you, and it was just like, I don't understand how a personal view of somebody could be the reason why I'm not able to put my child in a house or put my baby mother or get my baby mother roofing over her head. I don't understand how someone could look on the news and it's an accusation with no evidence. Then it's just like, nah, his kid doesn't need a crib. His baby mother doesn't need a house. The things that he's providing as a man don't need to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not. That's weird to me. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, when I'm seeing, going through the things that I'm going through personally, you got to remember in my personal life, the same way things are being snatched from me in a industry way, things are being snatched from me in a personal realm where it's like, I, well, <laughs> shit, nigga, we don't know. <laughs> and it's like, yo, 